it seems that there is yet another reason for those dedicated souls who run every day to feel virtuous. If the results of a new study are anything to go by, it seems that exercise may not only be good for your heart and your waistline, but it may also be good for your brain. A lab experiment showed that mice provided with a running wheel to use in their spare time learn faster, have more new brain cells, and show more learning associated changes in their brains than their sedentary colleagues. From an earlier study that we did, we already knew that mice who run a lot produce more new cells in a part of the brain called the hippocampus than mice who don't. Now, we know that the hippocampus is important for learning and memory but do these new cells help the mice to learn? Our new results suggest that they might. In the experiment, a test called a Morris water maze was used to see how quickly the mice learned. In this test, mice are put into a pool of opaque water and have to swim around until they find a platform hidden under the surface. The more a mouse is put in the pool, the faster it finds the platform. In other words, it learns where to look. Half of the mice we used were provided with running wheels in their cages, while the other half were not given the wheels. As you probably know, mice love running wheels. Those that had them ran on average almost 5 kilometers a day. These mice learned the water maze taster faster than those without wheels, which suggests to us that exercise or at least running helped the mice to learn more quickly. Physical changes in the brain waves of the mice were also observed in the experiments. Electrical impulses from the cells in the brains of the mice were recorded. The objective was to look for a specific change in the activity of the neurons called long-term potentiation, or LTP. LTP is a strengthening of the connections between brain cells, and it may be what happens in the brain as we're learning. Sure enough, the marathon running mice had more LTP in the cells of their hippocampus than the couch potato mice. One of the most interesting findings was that there is also evidence that it might be important for the exercise to be voluntary. In earlier studies where swimming instead of running was used, it was established that mice that were forced to swim around in the water maze pool, produced no more new brain cells than mice who had no exercise. This could mean that swimming and running have different effects on the brain, but it could also mean that running only affects the brain because the mice choose to do it. So, does this mean that if we're forced to go jogging it wouldn't help us lazy souls to solve more crossword puzzles? Further studies will be needed to test the validity of the hypothesis on humans.